Welcome back to Griffin, Indiana 22 for episode 19 with me, Mr. CDP. It's early, March 3. Boy, did we put a shift in yesterday. Um, I'm taking the wood pellets to be sold. I should bump the money up again. As you've seen, I did, I think I recorded, uh, a bit of the work I was doing up there, cutting down some of the trees, ploughing some of the bit out. I've ploughed up to the washout, the waterway, but I haven't done the other side of it. I've got an idea for that, actually. I was giving that some thought. You know, I said about posts. I did think about maybe... Um, Oh, that's a lot lower than it has been recently. I say, still 34 grand. It's better than the watermelon. Um, I thought about cones. Now, I know it's, it's an arbitrary thing to do because at the end of the day, I can use the map, I can open the map up, there's coordinates down there, I can walk in a straight line, I can follow those. Of course I can. But I'm thinking just as a visual clue, something to make life a little bit easier. What you should have also seen, uh, when it got past midnight, some more equipment popped up so I've bought a new trailer that was reduced only cost me 11 grand this one we're going to be selling now it, it's um I should just think I could put the other one back this this single axle has been brilliant and the fact you can put the creels on it you can take the creels off it you can have it as a log tray that was great but if I do any more logging because I've now got the Mac I'm going to use a logging trailer for the Mac so I wouldn't use it for the logging and having a bigger trailer means I can do um, more wood pellets in one run. So I haven't got to do them daily. I can pile them all up and then do them every other day or something. You know, or do them when I want to. So I'm thinking... Yeah, I am. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell this. I'm, and like I say, I, I got this second hand and cheap. Anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hang on, did I? Did I buy this new? I can't remember. So, what we'll do is just get that. Go to here. Lizard light trailer. Oh, 6,151. That's alright. 
Now, the good thing is, hopefully, the one we're getting, because it's, um, that one was the single axle. Now, the only pro uh, problem with it was, you had to get the load kind of balanced well. If you didn't, when I did the logging, if you recall, there was just too much weight, and it kept lifting the back of the Land Rover, uh, the Land Rover, the, Land Rover, the, um, the Jeep up. Whereas this one, whilst it's a bit bigger, and I don't know if it's going to have the oomph to pull it, but we'll soon find out. Being that it's three axles, with front and rear, the weight, doesn't matter where it is on it, yes, there might be more weight over that axle, but it's not putting weight over the, the, uh, the draw the draw bar, the, uh, the ball joint. So yeah, much bigger, and uh, straps all the way along, so we can take that off. Now, next job on the list. We've got no more contracts popped up. Um, where are we? Yeah, still no contracts. I'm a bit worried. Maybe when we get into um, April we will. It's a bit of a concern. Our production shed, we've now got 47,000 litres of herbicide. I turned off, like I said, the solid fertiliser, I turned that off. I topped up my fertiliser spreader, but then turned that off. We've got seed in storage, so we haven't got any running there. But what we're going to be doing is, I've ploughed out, we're going to be sorting the stones, getting the stones out. So, my field, my stones, my cedar, the one we bought. Uh, that one I bought, I never mentioned, it was the uh, small-sized PK we got. It came up, that was cheap as well, was it? That came up as an offer by M. Artemov produced that. So, we're going to be doing some seeding, getting the sunflower in the ground. Uh, and then some, oh, I might fertilise a bit. Anyway, my own field. I'm going to get to do the work on my own field, a bit of farm work. So what I'm going to do is leave that there for the moment. I'll take that in a second. We're going to go to here. And let's have a look at stone pickers. Now, we have got, there's the LO Scorpio. Now, that's only got a 2,000 litre capacity. The Dagerman's got a bigger capacity, 3,800. But it's... Um, smaller width pickup which we could go for but we have got the LO Scorpio 710 it's a bit more expensive to lease but we'll get the job done a lot quicker we're not going to get a huge amount of stones from it it's two and a half thousand liters is the capacity of that so again it's not massive but it'll be quicker 9.5 meters what is that going to cost to lease actually 3264 we just sold a load of um actually what's the horsepower requirement 170. Ooh, we could be just on for that. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Let's lease it. See how frivolous I'm getting with my money now? Just chucking it around. Anyway, stones first. We'll go and sort the stones out. Then we'll go up there. Now, I don't technically need to cultivate. And the seed I got is a direct drill as well. But it's irrelevant. That doesn't really matter. Um, the weed situation, I'm not going to do any, I know various different cultivators, but because I've already ploughed, the weed situation is going to be pretty bad. If we check the map, actually, I'll show you. Let's go up here. So that's where I've got to. We've ploughed down up to the road, all the way across to the waterway. Now, the waterway, like I said, I'm leaving. I'm going to mark out, and then at some point I'll cut the rest of the trees out, and I'll do a little bit the other side but I need to put a couple of markers in there so I know where the edge is and where the end is, where I can go to. I you might stick those in the Jeep and, and take those up. I never even thought to check that. Where can I find those? They're not under miscellaneous to get from the store, are they? They might well be under deco or something like that. I think they're under deco. So I might have to place those, but I think I can move them afterwards. So maybe I'll place them just here outside the store. We'll stick them in and we'll go and get them. So, let's get the stones done first. Anyway, I'll do the stones. We'll get those out of the field. And this feels quite heavy. It's on here, so I'm just thinking maybe it will be attracting me to this. I'm going to stick this round behind here for the time being. And we'll take it up to the carpentry. Now, as I said, I put a shift in. We cleared all those trees. And we ended up with wood chips to the amount of, uh, where are we, up to here, 600. We had just over 600,000 litres because we had just about 20, 
25,000 litres of wood chip left. Um, so yeah, over 600,000 litres of wood chip we got. And it took a while, you know, no two ways about it. It was always going to be a bit of a, a bit of a schlep, a bit of a, sh a schlog. Um, do I do fertilising first? I normally do, don't I? You know what, let's whiz up, get the fertilising done. Then we'll come back, we'll get the uh, rock picker. I think I'd like to get more than... I don't know. I might was up there with the case with the bucket on the front. And then what we could do is if we, we could tip with the Dagelman, uh, the Dagelman, the uh, LO by the side of the road. And then, or by the side of my bit of land, then I can just go and collect up later on, can't I? And then I'll probably just take them and sell them to the debris crusher. I, I haven't got a, I'm not, I've got a lime crusher or anything set up or running at the moment. So let's get up there, get this first bit done. I'll show you what we've done. I mean, you can see from the map what I've done. It's always interesting. I know I get comments every now and again. So, yeah, I might, there might be a day I haven't posted a video. And I've said it before. I can have a day off every now and again if I want. <laughs> but even on my days off, I'm usually still working. It's normally still prep work. So I say working, I'm playing the game, but you know what I mean? Um, Yeah, I'm normally still doing something. It's like yesterday, whilst I made the video on here, did the mod review. Um, mod reviews can vary massively depending on how many mods there are and how much stuff you know there is to prep and set up for a mod review. And then once I've done all that and those were posted, I came back on here and then carried on uh, with the tree felling, wood chipping, transporting it backwards and forwards. Having that bigger trailer helps as well, the 52,000 litre trailer. Um, when I was doing it with the small one, the 20,000, 20, was it 2250, whatever it was I had before. Um, so yeah, that made a massive difference. It wasn't as many runs backwards and forwards, but... It's all time. You, you don't realise the hours just fly by. And I love that. I love the fact that it's, it's one of the reasons I've always loved playing this game. It's one of the reasons I got into it in the first place. When I was doing it, just when I got in from work and I would play, it was just a stress reliever. And I still do now. I put it on and I can just... You just melt into whatever you're doing. That's why I've always said, though, the sort of jobs that people consider mundane and boring and whatever it might be, I, it's great. You can just switch off, focus on what you're doing. The only time I do get a bit kind of stressed with that kind of stuff is if, not that I've got a deadline, my deadlines are self imposed, I guess, but if I try to put out a, 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 a Let's Play daily, and I have that situation of, I know I've got a ton of work to do between episodes. I kind of get a bit stressed sometimes thinking I've got to get it done, I've got to get it done because I need to record tomorrow and again that's myself, I'm putting that pressure on myself, not, you know, some, nobody else is forcing that, it's me. Now, actually I'm just thinking I might need to remove the stones first, if we check the land again, so what I was going to show you was this, I didn't show you in the end did I? Right, so where I cut, uh, ploughed, the grass and stuff was ploughed in, but obviously these sections here didn't have that on so they're going to need fertilising. But the stones in the ground. If I fertilise now where the stones were, that doesn't always work, does it? Should I do the stones first, then fertilise? You know what? I think I might. Let's leave that there. Uh, I'll go and get the Massey. See, I'm just thinking along this line, if I stick a cone at the edge of the field where I've cut, and then walk out with another cone, and line up to where I am. I can put a cone route on the edge. I can check the map and then go up and put another one. Then I know where my boundary is. Then when it comes to ploughing the next section, I haven't got to keep referring back to the map. I can do it now and then I'm kind of done. Um, but yeah, we've got a fair bit of stones near, so I'm thinking of having the, the bigger one. But where we had the tree line along here, that's all now cleared. We sweep down here to the washout. Now I could, if I wanted to, plough straight through that and pretend it's not there. But I'm going to go for a bit more of a kind of, you know, in the real world, if I ploughed down across there and proceeded across here, when the rains come, that's going to wash straight through there, and any sowing, seeding and stuff I've done, it would have been pointless. It's just going to wash it all out again, so there's no point. And then this side, there's not as many trees, but we'll come out this side. Same thing again, I'll leave a bit for the washout. Now, I could put a separate crop in this side. I could do potatoes or something, it's a smaller field. Then we've got the grass this side. I think we come out to somewhere about here, I think. Like I say, if I can just line up, mine just going to be easier once those trees are gone. But you can see the line there. Well, if I back up, I can put something down, 
then up to that corner. I can kind of just mark myself out. Maybe put one part way along as well. Yeah, I don't know. It's just an idea at the moment. I'm just trying to do a few things a little bit differently to how I normally do. So let's give it a go, shall we? Right, I'm always down. And uh, yeah, grab the rock picker. Okay. Now this is the one that's got lower. This is 170 horsepower. So this is right on the nose. And the other one's got 175. Actually, I never checked to see if I could upgrade this one. I know I couldn't on the... John Deere, we tried that, but what are you going to do? I have also um, got some, no, I didn't get cones, I went for posts. Um, they're down in the woods, we'll sort it out. So, so I don't really know how many stones we're going to get. Most of my rock work was all in the quarry when I uh, did Western Wilds. Let's turn that on. Drop it down. Do we have enough oomph? Oh, should we get a better seabed use? And this time we have to get that. God, this goes a bit quicker, do not it? 11 miles an hour, 9.5 metres wide. Constructed, fabricated. Fort Ello by Black Sheep Modding. Yeah, we'll get a few. It's nice. It's a weird thing, isn't it? You, you kind of take it for granted. And having done this on hard mode, there you, know, you can see them down here in the posts. I, try, I dropped them off, but I don't see them want to stand up. I might have been better off going for cones, um, but I was hoping that they would stand up. I think it's because it's, the ground's got to be really flat. Oh, come on. Maybe. I might have to switch out for cones, but I've got five. We'll see how that works. Um, yeah, it's weird how, like, when I'm, in, I'm on hard mode and I've been doing contract work to, to earn money. That's how I've had to be doing things. And it's interesting that you kind of forget when you don't own your own land. And then once you get your own land, and I'm now doing these jobs thinking, this is for me. This is brilliant. This is my field. This is my land. These are my stones. I'm not doing it for somebody else. This is all for me. I know I've missed, I'll come back and pick up. So we're not going to get a huge amount of fear, are we? It's good that we're getting the seedbed done as well, because I was thinking oh, I might come over. Not that I need to cultivate, because I can sow directly onto a ploughed field. Of course you can, but if you wanted to add a bit more realism and you prep your seedbed and that kind of stuff, so no, we'll see. Another thing to do will be to check in just a moment. Just do it now. Um, let's go back up to the top and have a look at our field. There we go. Yeah, I missed one there. Look, a little bit of stone. We'll come back for it. Don't you worry, not worrying, but. <laughs> I didn't realise actually quite how steep that was, but I suppose I'm pulling something that's using the maximum horsepower, then I'm trying to go up a hill as well. The tractor's like, mm, I don't think so. I did all right actually. Normally, when I cut trees down and do stump grind and that kind of stuff, and then plow, I would normally find a tree stump. Didn't find one, so I did all right. I think I cleared them all as well as I could have done. Uh, that's weird. I wonder if that's. Oh, is that one of those? I don't own the land. If I come up too far, I might have to landscape that back and put some grass in, I think, maybe. I think I went too far over this side. Let me do it that way. Oh, yeah. Probably wouldn't hurt. So this will take a little while, but it's going to be a lot quicker than... I, I, to be honest with you, the weird thing is... The Dagelmans are the ones I've seen used most on real life farming, you know, millennial farmer and people like that. So there's always that temptation, oh, I'd love to use a Dagelman, it's just not, it's not very wide. When you've got bigger fields to do and you're collecting your stones. And the thing is as well, it's not even like, because the stones are like this, they're scattered. And even if you get big stones coming up, actually yeah, the stones I got come up weren't that big. Considering I ploughed, I thought I would get much bigger stones coming up. 
anyway, regardless of that, um, if it was you got like the odd kind of rock boulder type stone and you went round and then collected it, you could drive across the field literally just spot collecting them, I guess. But I guess this is the compromise, isn't it? This is how you do it. That's a good point. What's it saying for weeds? Nothing at the moment. <laughs> we shall see. But I think I might just pick up a, a six metre weeder, just a mechanical weeder. And when it comes around to it, I'll just whiz out. Now I know I'm producing all that herbicide. That herbicide was more for doing contract work. Because I, I knew there were so many fields and loads of... Um, weeds on. That's going to get interesting when we move round into the next cycle of growth and harvest and stuff. If I don't get contracts to do herbiciding or clear any of those weeds out, the yield reduction on the next harvest round is going to be horrendous. So I don't know how that's going to work really. But anyway, see in a bit. I'll get this done. Then we'll fertilise, then we'll get up, we'll seed. Oh, roller. I've got a roller either. Oh yes, I forgot the uh, the Guttler. I bought it, didn't I? I got it second hand. Nice, I forgot about that. Oh, I don't need a roller. Sunshine is coming. It did rain most of yesterday, actually. While I was doing all the logging, it just poured down. Wasn't the best, really, for recording and all that kind of stuff. Cameras get wet, you know. I decided... What was I thinking? I've got my own land. I've got my own farm. I've got my own machinery now. I can hire workers. I'm a farmer. Uh, why has he gone right through to the edge? That's weird. So, I've, yeah, I've hired a worker to do my, my rock picking. Hopefully this works all right. I'll get across here and do another squirt. No, he's gone the wrong way. Okay, that's why I don't want to do that. Okay, he's not going to do this properly, is he? If you're not going to do it properly, I don't know why you even bothered coming. Check the map. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a couple of bits again, but it's not too bad actually. Right there. Whoops, wrong one. Yeah, I've got some weird splattery areas, so I'm going to have to come back again anyway. Yep, it's going back over a bit that's already been done. Paying your wages, mate. Sorted out. How are we looking? He hasn't got a Scooby Doo, has he? He, he just not the first idea what he's doing. Ah. Oh. Get it, mate. You're fired. Nick off. I switched around in the end, got the workers in the fertilising, and I did the rock picking. So we're down here at the debris crusher, down at the biogas plant train loading area. It's not going to be mega money, but we'll get rid of it. $63. Worth every penny. Yes, when you look at it along the lines of I, what I paid to lease this, but I wanted to clear the stones for the reason that uh, reduces damage, wear and tear on your vehicles. When I'm sewing and stuff, I don't want any... You know, it's, it's an investment, and I had the money, and I wanted to use the, the, the bigger rock picker. So... Hey, I wanted to. <laughs> it may not be a sound economic choice, but I'm happy. Uh, what I'm going to do now is this will go back. We'll grab the cedar and we will stick our seed in that we produced. Remember all that time ago with the seed treatment auger? We'll put our seed in it. 
We'll take that up, get the sewing done, then I'll come back and I'll get the good little matador. It was the matador we bought, wasn't it? And then we'll roll. Now, I haven't done any liming this time. The field does need lime, but I haven't done any. Um, I'm still deciding. I might go and buy some lime, I guess. I've got my fertiliser spreader. I can unload the fertiliser spreader and put the lime in that. If I wanted to. More watermelon. Still very disappointed by all that. <laughs> that fiasco. Once this is out of the way, I might come in with the uh, wheel loader and try and re recover that stack because that's horrendous. What I might do is take the top ones off, um, take those top ones off, bring them down to ground level and push the whole lot back so it's not all... It's an idea. We'll see. Now, is this a cover open job? It is, isn't it? I remember now. So we need to go in. This way round. Nine o'clock in the wall in the AM. So we should. Hopefully. I'm not put, I could have put fertilizer in here. Hopefully this is gonna work. Oh no, come on. So not recognising the fact that there's... Nope. It's not refilling. Change what we're putting in. We're putting in... Hang on. Why did I think this one did everything? Oh, that's me saying I was going to do sunflower. No, I'm not. I'm having a nightmare. What is wrong with me? I could have sworn this was one of those ones that did everything. Oh, no. Oh, I got the Kush Bass, not the Tom. I thought I had the Tom. I got that one really cheap, not that one. Tom does everything. This one is a direct drill. Oh, man. That's why. So I'm not going completely mad then. In my head, I was thinking that doesn't make any sense. I'm sure I, I, it does everything. Okay, that's going to change things a little bit. Especially if I can't now. Hang on, let's check then and see what we can. I think it's oats, isn't it? We're outside of the, um, oats, sunflower, potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane, oat. That's all we can put in the ground. <laughs> Looks like we're doing oats, people. <sighs> ah, it's not the end of the world. Even if I used it just to do, um, so that one. It's not registering, is it? I'm going to have to put something into the trailer. Oh, that's annoying. And then tip from the trailer into this. Right, let's change that to... Oh, my on, we could do soybean. Oh, no, we're not in soybean season. No. When was sorghum? No, sorghum's April. Oh, okay. Uh, like I've always said, there's two ways of doing something. I always get the wrong one. Right, let's open cover.
Why couldn't I have got the Tom? Let's just have a double check, just in case. You never know. Oh. I don't need a 70 grand sugar beet cutter. If I was going to, I would probably lease one. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the uh, wheel load. Why don't we get an entire trailer load and I can get a bucket full? Because I don't think this is going to take a huge amount. I'll do that. Anyway, I'll see you up there in a minute where we're going to do some seeding. Actually, no, no, we'll grab the bucket and hopefully this will work. Leave the engine running just in case we need it running for motors and what notary. Uh, let's turn that off. Uh, what will happen is the guys from Frey Farms will come every now and again to take what watermelon we've got. So I'll just, whenever they come, I'll load up. So every now and again, we'll get a little bit of a bump. It's not going to be massive money. The last eight went, I got five grand for the last eight. So every time we get eight boxes, we'll make five grand. Even if that covers worker fees, I suppose looking like that, it's all good. It's not the massive payday as I was expecting, but it's still money in the bank, isn't it? And it's ongoing, it's, it will continue. So for my investment in the buildings, my investment in um, what um, manure and stuff I've put in there. Please work. There we go. Seed. Tip all over yes. Why is it tipping all over the floor? Kidding me. What is happening? I'm just not quite lined up. Or... Perhaps I'm going over the floor. <sighs> Plan B or C or what we're on to now, we've done a few, <laughs> is I've taken the bucket load of seed, because this can produce seed, tip the seed into here, so I will tra transfer my seed that's in there, this will become my seed storage, because it can produce seed, and I should be able to take it out of here, because it hasn't got a spout there, it should, I don't know, we'll try and take it out of the shed, we'll give it a go. Again, what's the worst that can happen? Can't go any more peak tongue than it already has, can it really? Right, let's open cover. See if it comes up, start filling. <laughs> you beauty! Oh no, is this going to do fertiliser? Which one's first? It's got to be the seed first, hasn't it? No. <sighs> I don't want to fertilise. Ah. <sighs> Maybe it was because I had the wrong cover open. Definitely got seed in here. Come on. There we go. So it could have been I had the wrong cover open. All along. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, I can put that fertiliser back in. But I have got my seed in now. 2,520 litres. Am I going to need more? Maybe. What I could do is potentially, I don't have a front tank yet, I haven't bought one ever, I'm just thinking, did I get one second hand anywhere and hide it away? I don't think I did. 
lucky we got through this gateway actually. <laughs> Perfect timing. Right, I'll see up in the field. Let's get the seeding done and then we'll get the rolling done. Right, oats are put in the ground. Now I could wait till next month and put another different crop in, but I'm going to do oats. I've prepared myself for, for doing sowing in this episode. I wanted to get it done. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm torn. Do I... Oh, man alive. Do I wait and do sorghum? Can't do sunflower because this don't, won't do sunflower. No, do notes. Okay, we got this. <laughs> we got there in the end. I'll just switch that seed over. Makes perfect sense. If I get the other one of these pop up, brilliant. I'll swap them out. But don't seem to be having very much up here at the moment. But. So yeah, uh, the question will be asked, as it always is, um, why am I not fertilising at the same time as sowing? It's just a habit I've got into from doing contracts. I've said this before, doing so much contract work when I do on Verity and Let's Plays, if I've got a job for fertilising, I've always kind of in my head separated them. If you get a sowing contract and all you've got to do on that contract is sowing there's no point putting fertilizer down as well you don't need to so i've always kind of had those as separate things and i'll whiz around with a fertilizer spreader to the fertilizer normally straight after i've harvested um then i'll cultivate plow do whatever and then do it again and then i'll come in and seed i, I could do it when i'm seeding but it's just not something i've done really so what we should have now I do the lights, so they quite, quite nice, but seeds, sowing, sowing, seeding, in our own field, for us, our own benefit. Now putting oats in this, I don't have any horses, however, as I have found, oats and i've said this before oats if you are going to make seed using the seed treatment auger i have found that oats has a very good ratio um, so even if i take this crop and next season or when i harvest it turn the oats from this crop into seed more seed for the following year brilliant it's a win-win for this small amount of seed i'm putting in the ground i'll get a load more seed out the other end from oats i am going to probably as i said sort that out there so I'm probably going to landscape that little bit and just follow along this edge here so I'm not going to sow that little bit there but catch the trees there All right so I think what I might do with this as well is once I get to a point where when I can let a worker go uh, we'll see um, then I'll come in with the, the matador and I'll start rolling over the top it'll be interesting to see what happens with the weed situation yeah we'll need rolling I suppose it'll be which, whichever cycle it then runs through that will then come up with weeds in the ground. I say not something I've dealt with much, so it'll be something I'll have to get my head round as we go. What do I think? 24 hours ago, there were trees here. This was a grass field. Now look. Oh yeah, before I finish, I want to put those well, I'll put those markers out if they'll stand up. If not, we'll switch to cones. 
too close, I'm switching to cones. What film? Oh, it wasn't cones, I didn't say cones, it was a bit. Looks like I might have got a bit over exuberant with the plough here as well, but I'm sure we'll survive that too. Uphill. Always seems a bit of an uphill struggle for me. <laughs> Not sure why. Doing all right, seed use at the moment, not horrendous. And then I'll just come in and sort of spot apply what fertiliser I need to to get my full fertilising state when I'm done. Right, first run round. I'm going to put some headlands in now. And then I can set a worker off and then once the work is done enough then I can come in with the matador. And we'll get that done too. Brilliant. Very happy. I'm just going to double check a couple of things. Let's see what we're looking at. Nope, still nothing. Well, nothing I want for stuff there, obviously. I've got the Gutler on the John Deere. Uh, workers now going up and down, side to side, on the field. Sowing is going great. It's only a 4.8 metre cedar, but hey, it doesn't matter. This is six metres, the roller. Crossed out of uh, the way of most pedestrians, I guess. Well, anybody that needs to be aware that we're we're rolling, literally rolling, and yeah, I'll start getting this done. I'll do what I can do, and then oh, that's what I was going to do. I've switched out. I've taken the posts away. I need to get some cones brought up, um, and I'll get those done. Let's get this unfolded. Dropped. Stop. Drop and roll. Then two things that I haven't repaired. I've been repairing the tractors, various other bits and bobs I've been repairing as I've been using them, but this roller hasn't been repaired since we bought it used, and nor is the cedar. Both, if you look bottom right, are showing um, they need some work. If I disconnect, you'll see the tractor's not looking too bad, so you'll connect up. It's the implement on the back that's, um, that's needing a bit of work. I think I need to sort out myself a toolbox. Maybe a mobile one that we can take around with us, should we need it. I haven't been able to landscape this bit on the end because we're right on the northern part of the map. I can't get the landscaping tool near it. So I think we just have to accept the fact we're going to lose it inside there. But that's, again, neither here nor there. It's a small amount. Let's get everything seated nicely. What we should be seeing on our map is, there we go, rolling is now happening. I'll go on the outside first and then I'll gradually work my way in.
it's nice to be able to use it again. A lot of the second hand stuff that came up, it was that thing of I'll buy it now because it's cheap, I'll get it, I'll need it at some point. And then some of it I haven't needed, I haven't used yet, and now we're getting to use the stuff that I bought. We're farming. I'm just enjoying watching it. <laughs> I suppose I haven't said anything. We might have an issue when we come to harvest this side as well, because I think we are right on the border. Because this little bit here I tried to fix as well with a little bit of landscaping. I was just going to put a little bit of grass down and it said you don't own the land. So I think we are right on the edge. So we could have a problem. And the only way around it maybe would be if I bought the plot next to it. Not field flipping exactly, just buy the plot, do a bit of landscaping, then sell it back. Just so I've got the access to the little bit I need. Maybe it's not majorly important, but I could do it. That's a good sight. I haven't had many tractors come up for sale over the winter. I know we had a bit of a spate of, of various different tractors coming up. I'm hoping we get something with a bit more horsepower or potentially. It's actually hard to see where we've been already. Just here, isn't it? I don't know, you can just about see the edge. Right, I'm going to get on with this for a little bit and then hopefully we'll get some cones delivered and I'll get that marked out. Shouldn't take too long, it's not a massive field, is it? Oh, anyone notice I've gone a bit I've gone a bit native look in the cab denim jacket cowboy hat hey I know I'm not in Texas but you can wear cowboy hats in other parts of, cat, of, of America aren't you wear them wherever you like I bought one when I was in America and I wear it here in the UK not out and about obviously Okay, it's quarter to 12, uh, sewing's done, so I've swapped over now, so I'm out of the roller, worker's now rolling, I'm going to take this back, we'll do a bit of preventive maintenance on that, the fertilising will then get done on the bits that are left, what I'm going to do, I've switched, switched out, we've got cones now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to place one, I'm trying to think where I'm going to be able to see it, maybe here in the light. I don't know if I'm going to see it from further up, but we'll see. Uh, grab one here. And what I'll do is I'll work in conjunction with the map and the, my sight line of the one that's there. <laughs> he says, where is it? Come up the slope. Am I going to be able to see it? Could just about see a bit of orange. I'm trying to stay lined up with the edge of the field, but I think I come, if I come too far, I might come too far. So what I'll do now is stop there where the cone is and go to my map then if we go to that i think we might just be outside of it possibly so what we'll do take our cone forward a little bit maybe out there stand there check the map that looks a little bit better I might still come forward just a hair just to make sure we're inside. 
check that again looks like we lined up as well from where we're standing where we're pointing our direction of travel that looks better so what i need to do is turn that way and then we'll stick a cone out that way line that up and i put a couple in between that then gives me my boundary so i know where i can go to when we've cleared all this if i decide to plow this out and we're going to put something else in this side I might, like i said i might do potato i haven't quite decided yet i guess the other thing to do really that wasn't as easy to see but i don't know because the bushes are there but i'll be able to see any more there um let's grab one of those well, like i said i could just use the map i could bounce in and out of it but i just thought not something I'd really done before. And I suddenly thought, well, I could use the cones. Those posts stand taller and would be easier to see. But I guess I should do it like when you're doing or, uh, like orienteering, map reading, that kind of stuff. So I can still see the one that's there. Check the map. Am I still in line? Kind of. I need to be turned that way a little bit, maybe. If I pop that one there. Check the map. Maybe that way a little bit. I say they're a little bit harder to see. That way's better because the way the light is. So I stick another one right off down there. I can kind of follow the sight line of each one. It's just a rough guide, really. So this one as well, I could come back from here watching that line if I can. Then stick one, oh, that's not going to help, is it? Maybe there, I'm just trying to think. Can't see up the hill because those are in the way. Oh, I'm not sure if that's even in line, is it? Need to clear some of this out of the way. Need to get the brush cutter up here. Rolling's nearly done. So what we'll do now is right up to here. And if I can line up on the other two, potentially. Can't see the other one. I can see that one. Check on the map. Right, we're at the edge. So the other one's about. Right, check the map. Where are we? I think we're over too far. That way a bit more. Maybe. That looks a bit better. Needs to be a bit more elevated. Ooh. If I stick one halfway between there and there, and then turn around the other way, and I should be able to line up. Like I say, those posts would have been better, wouldn't they? Now I'm up here on the flat, I think I'll be able to see those a bit better. Oh, it seems to be alright. Last one. And then once I'm done with them, when we clear that, I'll come back and we'll pick them up. Some of the ones that are available, once they're placed, you can't move them. So it was a bit of a kind of, you know, how do we do this kind of thing? So if I stand there and just turn around on the spot, am I lined up? Maybe. Pop that down there. Oh no, that one's way off from that one and that one. So, I know this is probably, probably a weird thing to watch. That's actually not too bad. I think over just a fraction more, we should be there. So I'll check where I am on this one, just with the boundary. You know what, I think we might be there. If I come back this way and we'll look at with the light. 
Oh, I might come a little bit too far now. But anyway, you can see, got the rough line there. How are we looking with this one? Can I see all of them? Maybe that one over a little bit more then. And that looks about right. That's my boundary. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear. It's just a bit of fettling. A little bit of fettling. We'll be fine. There we go. That looks good to me. That's our edge. That should be in line with the cones there and that side. So that's as far out as we can come. And we're ready to do it. And that's it. For this episode. My field. My stones. My sewing. My rolling. I just need to put a bit of fertilizer down now. We're still rolling? I thought we were done. Oh, last little bit. That was good timing. And I'll get the fertilising done. Then it'll just be a case of seeing what happens with, with regard to weeds. We'll tackle those when we need to. I will keep an eye out on the old uh, contracts. Still nothing. And then we'll also keep an eye out on the uh, equipment. See if anything else pops up on there. That might come in handy. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you are, if you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.